Hello and welcome to another Let's Play Pokemon TCG Online. I'm Daniel, one of the hosts on the Reasons I'm Broke podcast, put up every single week right here on YouTube, on iTunes, Stitcher, and we're going to jump right in with the standard format as we go into what could be some matches where we find some cards with a brand new set, that one being the Ancient Origins set. I do have some of those booster packs to open up today at the very end, and it looks like our first opponent is Chattels, who uses a Leaf deck. And there we go, it looks like it loaded our player profiles or icons, whatever it is. And like I mentioned, I do have some Ancient Origins boosters at the very end to open. I have some Roaring Skies, as well as some uh, Pokemon League packs. Actually, one of them that I can show you all at the very end. But we're jumping right in, and we do start off with uh, Gengar EX. And since it is the latest updates, uh, it is going to re download all of the cards and everything as they place them down. That's kind of what you saw with the Verizian EX, with they, which they just put down. Each of your Pokemon that has any Leaf Energy attached to it can't be affected by any special conditions. So our Dark Horde or Attack, which would normally... I think that's a new one right there, actually, from Ancient Origins. Alright, so uh, Poison Link would normally affect their uh, all of their types, but it's not going to work this time. So we'll go ahead and do work with what we can and try to knock out the Verizian first. In the meantime, I could attach Omega Gengar Spirit Link, but I am going to hold off. And we're going to do a double colorless. Oh, I don't want to give that away yet. So let's cancel that. We're going to do a special energy. I hate to do it, but kind of have to. Uh, we have a Trico that we can drag out. Um, I guess I'll leave it. We'll do a regular Night Attack. Put all three damage counters on the Verizian EX. And bring it down to 140 HP. I was going to go after the Trico, but... Um, now there's the Enhanced Hammer right there, which is going to get rid of the Special Energy, unfortunately. And they're going to do 50 damage to our Gengar EX with the Emerald Smash. And that lets them search their deck for up to two Leaf Energy cards and attach them to one of their Pokemon, which they're going to put on the Sceptile EX. Alright, in the meantime, we do get another Gengar EX. And I think at this point, I may have to drag out the Trico or maybe the Sceptile EX. Um, so let's go ahead and do a double colorless energy for now, do a night attack once again against the Verizian EX, mainly just to get rid of that special condition ability, which is called Verdant Wind. There's another enhanced hammer that they're going to get rid of our double colorless now. So that's two less that we can actually, that they're going to use against us. And they're going to do another 50 damage and attach two more energies to one of their Pokemon. This time it should, oh no, they all went to Sceptile, alright. No energies. Alright, so that's not going to help us out at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to Lysander up the Trico and buy ourselves a little bit of time. And we'll get the Lysander right back with the Versus Seeker just in case we need it later on. And I'm going to attach the Gengar Spirit Link down and end our turn. No Dimension Valley that we have uh, so that we can attack with a regular Night Attack. Unfortunately, there's the Shauna that they're going to use to shuffle their, their hand back into their deck and draw five new ones. They're going to attach a special Leaf Energy, which they're going to then discard and put up the Sceptile EX. And do 130 damage for the knockout to our Gengar EX. They're going to get two prizes. And that's uh, basically it. I guess I'll just put out the Gengar EX. We're not drawing anything at all. Nothing that can actually help us. I'm going to once again drag out the Trico and buy ourselves a little bit of time. Get the Lysander right back with the Versus Seeker, and that'll basically do it. We're not getting any Tiranos, we're not getting any Roller Skates, and they're really slowing us down with the with the special, with the Enhanced Hammers that they had. So there's the Pokemon Center Lady, which will heal up the Verizian EX. They've got a Trick Coin that they're going to put on the Sceptile. Now the Trick Coin, it does allow them to uh, reflip any coins from an attack from that Pokemon that it's attached to. And there we go, 20 damage onto the Gengar EX. Do we get any energies this time? Uh, we do not. There's really nothing we can do. That's it. <laughs> it's a little frustrating, but... Oh, well. Sometimes the games go this way. There's a Hypnotoxic Laser, which is going to poison up our Gengar at the very least. Uh, we are not asleep, at least. And there's the end, so we're going to get a brand new hand. So there we go. We do get some energies now. We do get a Gengar EX uh, that we can start to build up. No chandeliers, no rare candies, but at least this is something. We at least now have energies that we can use. And I'm unfortunately going to have to put up that Gengar EX up for sacrifice, because that is going to be... We're down to 10 HP, that's going to do it for for that Gengar at the end of our turn. 
Do we get a heads at least? Yes, we do. We draw another three. Let's use another roller skates. Uh, we don't get it that time. Uh, let's use up the last one. And we do get that one as well. All right, so we do get a Lampent. We get to evolve up into Chandelier. With, there's the rock card that we're going to put down on the Chandelier as well. And I will actually... Crap, there's not, nothing I can do. All right, let's go ahead and feed this Gengar in the meantime. And end our turn. And we'll be knocked out from the poisoning. So that'll be two more prizes for them. And we'll put out the Chandelier, just in case. They'll at least take the Rock Guard damage. And let's see what they actually could do. This Pokemon can't use Strong Slash during their next turn for 130. And the Agility Flip a Coin of Heads prevent all effects of attack, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn for 20. And they end up, we end up getting the Heads. They end up getting the Heads, I should say. So we are asleep and we're poisoned. Looks like two more Trico's coming down. We got another Sceptile. And they end up going up with Verizian EX. For 50 damage, they will take 60 from the Rock Guard. At least they should. Yeah, there we go. And we are not awake. So we're down to 70 HP. Uh, we are going to feed our Gengar EX. And we could buy some time with the Trico. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is actually try to get their Sceptile out here. No, actually, I'll hold off. That's it. Let's see if we can wake up. And we do. We are still poisoned, so we take another 10 damage and we're down to 60. They will be able to knock us out with the Emerald Smash this time. There's another Trick Coin that's going into the other Sceptile EX. So basically their strategy, which we haven't seen uh, quite activate yet, is the agility when it does it only does 20, but with if they get to reflip for that heads, we basically can't touch that Sceptile. And that's the only reason I hold on to the Lysander. Our odds are really low on winning this one, but still, I do want to hold off just in case, because we have been in worse situations and somehow pulled it off. So let's see what we can do and at least maybe bring down the Verzi and the X with us after the feigning spell. Nope, it's not going to work because of the poisoning. So they take another 60 damage and they're down to 50, but we will be able to knock it out with our Gengar EX. And they've got one prize left. That's going to do it, unfortunately. So here's what I'm going to do instead. Uh, we'll play the Dimension Valley. We're going to feed the Lampent. We're going to drag out the Trico without any damage on it. And then I'm actually going to do a Night Attack onto the Verizian EX. So bring that one down to 20. Uh, they could, of course, still retreat, and they probably will. But if I had done a Dark Horde or attack instead and knocked it out, we would have had the Lamp Pens, and they could have knocked it out for the game. So I'm just buying myself an extra turn, really. And in this case, we are asleep and we're poisoned because they did get a heads again. They get a heads on the Professor Bird, so they're going to get to draw seven. They're down to 21 cards on that deck. We're down to 29. And we've got one energy, one energy retrieval, which I don't think we have any energies, regular basic energies, at least in our discard pile, so they're going to use the superior energy retrieval. Discard two cards from your hand, put four basic cards from your discard pile into your hand. That's really awesome. So there's the retreat. They're going to go with the Sceptile EX, and they should do 130 damage. Yep, there it is, onto the Gengar EX. Hopefully we wake up, because let's see what we get. Uh, we do, thankfully. <laughs> that would have been definitely game. Either way, let's get a Tierno. Do we get another Gengar? No, we don't. So we're just going to do Professor's Letter to get two basic energies from our deck. And uh, just feed the Lampent, and I think that will be game, unfortunately. Another 60 damage onto the Sceptile. They're not poisoned because of the Verizian that's out there. And Lampent's down to 70, Gengar EX is down to 30. They should be able to knock it out just by retreating into the other Sceptile and doing the Strong Slash again. So there's the Team Flare Grunt, which will get rid of that on the Lampent. Not too big a deal. But all right, 20 damage with agility. And it's a Tails. All right. So they're down to 110. They're going to do the Trick Coin. They get another Tails. So we got pretty lucky there. Uh, we're going to do... Oh, man. Not much there. Now I think that's going to be it. I think we finally... 
gone out as much as we could. I was hoping for a chandelier, but we're not going to get it. So instead, I'm just... I'll just do a curse drop and put all three on the Verizian. One, two, and uh, I guess one on the Sceptile. It doesn't matter. So at least we got one knockout this game. Now we get the Evo Soda, which we could have used to go up to Chandelier, but unfortunately it's not going to work out that way. But that will be our first loss for tonight. And we'll throw in another game and possibly one more after that, depending on how quickly that goes, before we open up some booster packs. I do want to remind all of you to head on over to nerdupmedia.com Click on the reasons I'm broke. You will find a link to our Twitter, our Facebook, our Patreon account, our Instagram, our Tumblr. Basically everywhere you can find us online. And uh, you can follow us on there. You can let us know what you thought of the video as well as down underneath uh, in the comments section. So there's the first defeat, as I mentioned. Let's see what we at least end up getting here. Five coins from the wheel. And we're going to get 11 for playing. Okay, cool. So let's jump into another standard match. There we go. All right, next opponent will be Sky155, who uses electric and colorless types. And we do get to go first this time. All right, so we've got no basics, no basics again. So they get to draw two cards if they wish. But we do start off with a Ghost, Gengar EX, the full art, Hump in the Air, Gengar, with the Gengar Spirit Link. Evo Soda, we've got the Great Ball, so a lot of options here. All right. Let's see who they end up putting out. Looks like they've got a Manectric EX, uh, Zapdos, and... Yeah. Uh, Thunderous EX. Alright, so here we go. We do get a draw three right off the bat. Let's go ahead and do a Great Ball first. We do get a Chandelier out of that. Let's get that draw three. Um, hmm. Let's do the Mega Gengar Spirit Link just in case. We'll feed that same Gengar and we'll end our turn. Can't attack on the first turn as always. First player that goes can't attack. Uh, let me see if there's any attacks we could use on our end. If we do end up going with there's a Lugia EX with Arrow Ball, 20 times the number of energies attached to both active Pokemon. That's really good. There's a Starling Microphone, which is actually going to get rid of our Mega Gengar Spirit Link. They're going to do 20 damage, and that will basically be it. All right, so we get another Gengar EX that we're going to put down. We do get a Lysander. Let's go ahead and go for Tiano, go for a Double Colorless. Nope, but... Oh, yeah, we do get it. Awesome. And we don't get the Roller Skates that time. But I am actually going to do the double colorless energy and poison up the Manectric EX. There's a Dark Corridor attack. We have to switch with the Gengar that's out there. But at least they're poisoned and they're down to 120. Uh, once again, that Lugia EX, you're going to see it very often because it's basically the new Mewtwo EX. Same type of attack, 20 damage times the number of energies attached to both active Pokemon. So that can very quickly rack up some damage. The Deep Hurricane attack, if there are any Stadium cards in play, this attack does 70 more damage. And I think it said discard the stadium card. So they're going to end up doing another... Uh, actually, they did quite a bit of damage that time. So let's do a Great Ball. And there's a Little Litwick. Waiting at the bus stop there. Let's put him down. And we can evolve it next turn. Let's go ahead and draw three. Uh, awesome. Dimension Valley. That'll definitely help us out. Let's go ahead and get one of those Tiernos right back. Since the Roller Skates did not work out in our favor that time. And I'm actually, let's see, we got 110 left on him. So let's go ahead and feed the Gengar right down here. And because of the Dimension Valley, we can do a Night Attack for 30 damage onto the Manectric EX. Bring it down to 70 because of the Poisoning. Which, once again, to a reminder for any, any listeners, any Broquettes from the podcast that are just checking out the Let's Play for maybe the first time or haven't played before, uh, when you are poisoned, you take 10 damage in between turns. So that includes when their turn ends, when my turn ends. Uh, the only way you can get rid of poisoning is if you switch and put them on their bench, just like they just did. If you evolve or if you have some kind of item card that allows you to heal from that. All right, so let's go ahead and evolve regularly for, with the lamp pent. And let's go ahead and draw three. Ooh, we do get a rock card. Let's go ahead and put that down right away. I would like to retreat, but I don't have a special energy down, and it looks like they're buying themselves some time as well. So I'm going to do a Night Attack and put another 3 onto the Manectric EX. It brings it down to 40. 
And in the meantime, they are building up their Lugia EX. Once we can actually put out the Chandelier, we can actually go after the Manectric EX and finish it off with four damage counters instead. Let's see if Zapdos can do anything to us. Drill Pack does 20 damage. Raging Thunder for 120. This does 40 damage to one of your bench Pokemon. So it looks like they end up doing a Mega Evolution to Mega Manectric EX. Let's put down the Chandelier. Let's put down Little Litwick. And this is not going to do us any good this time. So instead we're going to poison up the Zapdos that is out there. So let's do a Dark Forward Attack. Does 60 damage. And uh, I'll put out the Gengar. Normally I would put out the Chandelier, but in this case I don't have a special energy, so I would not be able to retreat for free. And we can of course do another Dark Order attack right to the Zapdos if we wanted to. Oh, Headringer. Ooh, hate that card. Uh, basically it makes all of our attacks more expensive by one colorless energy. Not good. Okay, so we do get a Lysander. Uh, no... Chandelier out of that, no draw threes. We've got 40 left, so what I'm actually going to do is uh, we are going to knock it out, switch on over to Chandelier. There it is, we get our first prize. Uh, just in case they do end up knocking us out with uh, Mega Manectric or the Lugia EX, we have that feigning spell that could still activate for us and help us out. There it is, 110 damage. They're going to take 60 because of the Rock Guard. Uh, there it is, so they're down to 20. Uh, there's a special energy right there, exactly what I was hoping for. All right, so let's go ahead and feed that mega, uh, the chandelier. So they're down to 20 again. So let's go ahead and retreat for free, put out the Gengar EX, do a Dark Corridor attack for 40, switch back over into chandelier, and that's another knockout for us, two prizes. Out of that, we do get a Dimension Valley. This is the Pokemon League uh, Dimension Valley. As you can see, it's uh, holographic. It's got the Pokemon League logo on there. If you go to your local Pokemon League, you can search it up at Pokemon.com and you can do a search by zip code. So there's a knockout. Does the Fainting Spell work? If it does, that's two more for us. Let's hope for our heads. Come on. Yes, we do get it. Fainting Spell. We bring down the Lugia EX with us because that's Chandelier. He's a badass. Love Chandelier. Very underutilized. Don't see a lot of those too often. And it looks like we might actually win this Brokats because of that Lysander that we do have. So what I'm going to do is let's Let's put out the Dimension Valley, uh, because they did get rid of it with the Lugia attack. We're going to feed the Litwick with the special energy, and they end up conceding the match. What I was going to do is do the Sh the um, Lysander, bring out the Dedene, and do the knockout for the game for our last prize. All right, let's check the time here. It looks like we should have time for one more. And then booster pack time. Oh, a little bit closer to winning a couple of cards there from the Versus Rewards ladder. Alright, what's it going to be here? Uh, this one's going to be Chin underscore Chino, who uses a Water and Colorless deck, so I'm assuming we're going to uh, see a Toad in this one. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely go first. Now they have no basics. Let's check out what kind of... What kind of uh, and they had, all right, so they had an Iris, they had an N. We do get a Litwick. All right, and yes, we will draw an extra. Maybe it'll be a Gengar, but Seismitoad is exactly who I was referring to. All right, so let's do Professor's Letter, get a bunch of energies. Uh, let's go ahead and do another one. So let's thin down our deck a little bit. We'll do a Roller Skates. Uh, does not work. So we're going to do a Tierno. We get another Litwick. Uh, still no Gengars, unfortunately. Uh, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, put two damage counters on the defending Pokemon. That is really rough. But I am going to start feeding the Litwick. And that will actually end our turn. So if I can draw up a Dimension Valley, I can start doing some damage with the Chandelier with the Curse Drop. But that's just a lot of things have to fall into place for that to happen. And that will override their rough skin ability. Alright, looks like that is it. So let's go ahead and draw up uh, another three. Rock Guard, beautiful. Uh, still another Dimension Valley, but I am going to uh, evolve up with the Rare Candy into Chandelier, which of course lets me skip the Metal Evolution, the Middle Evolution, I should say, of Lampent. Still cannot attack, so I'm going to end my turn. 
If they get a double colorless energy, that is going to do 60 damage, and we can't retreat next turn. So let's see if they end up getting it. If they put down another basic that we can knock out with the curse drop with one shot, I would rather go after that instead. We've got the Kyogre there for 130 hit points. There it is, double colorless energy. Let's see, Professor's Letter. All right. So two more energies on their end. They'll probably start feeding the Kyogre down there. All right, what do we want to go after? I kind of want to drag out that Kyogre. So 60 damage, that's going to do 60 to them as well, thanks to the Rock Guard. I'm probably going to knock it out then. So let's go ahead and put down the Gengar EX. We'll do the Muscle Band on that same Gengar. Dimension Valley, come on. Nope, no Dimension Valley. That's fine. So we're just going to have to put another energy onto Chandelier, do the Curse Drop. So one, two, three, four, and the other two onto the Kyogre. So that's the first knockout so far. And we end up getting a uh, Roller Skates from the prizes. So in the meantime, uh, they shouldn't be able to attack yet, unless they have some kind of stadium card, but even then, let's see what they end up doing. There's a rough sea, so it lets them heal 30 damage uh, every single turn from all of their water types. So there it is, so they heal those 20 that we just put on them, and it looks like they may attack for... No, they can't attack, that's right. Okay, so what do we have? Let's do the roller skates. It does work, come on, Dimension Valley. Uh, still no Dimension Valley, that's fine. Great Ball, uh, another Gengar, that's cool. Let's go ahead and get that. And what do we want to do? Let's start feeding this one. And we'll do a Curse Drop, put all six onto the Kyogre. Yes, they will heal three, but maybe next turn we'll be able to get rid of the Rough Seas here by playing our own Stadium card. And when we do open up some booster packs with Ancient Origins, I will let you know that I'm looking for three in specific. And at my local comic shop, we did actually open up a box of Ancient Origins, and I saw that the Mega Tyranitar is really, really is awesome. So I'm going to try to build a Mega Tyranitar deck eventually if I do end up getting some good pulls with that. I've never built a dark deck, so that could be fun. There's another prize card right there with the Oshawott. Could go for it. Let's see if we survive this turn. Spring Tides does not work. So it will do zero damage to us. Okay, so we... Alright, Versus Seeker works. Let's go ahead and get another draw three. Put that out there. A rare candy, alright. I'll take it. Alright, let's put that out there. I don't know where the Dimension Valleys are. <laughs> Okay, so let's feed this Gengar once again and knock out the Oshawa with the Curse Drop. Put all six onto Oshawa because it only has 60 hit points. And prize, it ends up being a double colorless energy, which is good too. Alright, what do we have here? Let's see what they end up putting out. Maybe something else we can knock out. They're down to 33 cards. We're down to 21. If the Fainting Spell activates, that will be game. If not, uh, what do we have? 130 on there, 70 spring tides, uh, zero. All right, so it's not going to do any damage onto Chandelier. So let's keep there's Dimension Valley right there. Let's put it out. And let's start feeding the other Chandelier that's out there. And here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to do a retreat for free. We're going to put out the Gengar EX. We're going to do a Dark Corridor attack for 80 damage because of the Muscle Band. That is going to poison them up as well. We'll put out the Chandelier with the Rock Guard, so if they attack us, they will be knocked out. So they do need to put down a basic Pokemon to uh, continue past next turn. In the meantime, there's a Potion right there. In the meantime, we have a full bench right now. Can't have any more than six uh, including our active Pokemon, so we're just going to focus on building up what we have and hoping that Chandelier makes it here. Can kind of get the job done. Like I said, if they attack us, that will be game um, with the poisoning in between turns. So there's the end, and we're down to four. So what the end does is it basically both players shuffle both of their hands into their deck, and we draw according to the number of prize cards that we have left. So in their case, they have six, we only have four, so we only get to draw four. It does limit us quite a bit. They do get an Evo Soda, and they do end up putting down a Curem. So they're not out of this at all. 
They also end up getting a Shaman EX. Look at that. And the Blastoise. <laughs> and a Kangaskhan. Alright. So now it's going to be a little bit of a longer match here. Professor Spider, they're really getting their deck moving now. They're at 25 cards left. 24, should be 23 here. And then we're down to 24 as well. So we do have some time. Uh, in the meantime, let me see. We've got a Chandelier. We've got a Pokemon Fan Club. Energy Retrieval. Two and one Energy. And we haven't discarded any yet. So 100 damage into Chandelier. Either way, it's a knockout even with the Fainting Spell. Which doesn't work either way, but with the Poison, they will be knocked out. That's 10 damage onto Chandelier. 10 damage onto the Gengar. Onto Little Litwick. And finally, onto our last two Gengar EXs. So they will get a prize out of that after the Chandelier. We're going to put out the Gengar EX. And we get a prize as well because they were knocked out thanks to poisoning. Alright, and who do they put out? How many energies that I have on channel here that I have? Yep, I have two basics. So I can get two of those back with the energy retrieval that we have waiting. Uh, we don't have the Lysander anymore, otherwise I'd... Actually, I don't even know who I'd bring out. Maybe the Shaman? Either way, we're going to do 80 damage to one of their Pokemon, whoever they end up choosing, thanks to the... Muscle band. All right, so they go for Kangaskhan. Uh, energy retrieval. Get those two right back. Very cool. And uh, regular energy onto. Let me cancel that. Let's go ahead and put that onto the other Gengar EX for now. Dark corridor attack. Thirty damage. Or I'm sorry, eighty damage onto the Kangaskhan. We're going to put out the Chandelier with the free retreat cost. They're down to ten after the end of the turn. They will be knocked out. It looks like they didn't... Okay, they haven't attached any energies yet, and they just did onto the QRM, so that's who they're going to build up. There's an Oshawott right there, another one we can go after, which I definitely will. So, so far, so good. Muscle Bands really come in handy, getting those extra 20 damage onto the uh, Gengar EX, brings it up to 80 with the poisoning in between turns, that's 90 by the time it's uh, by the time it's their turn to draw, so really useful. Really have always debated on getting some more of those on there, but really like my supporters and I don't want to cut down on my Pokemon, so. So there's the potion that will buy them some time actually. but I think I'm still going to go after the Oshawott. So there's the Rocky Helmet. We're going to put that onto the Curem for... Uh, okay, so that's basically like a lesser version of the Rock Guard because we take two damage counters instead of the six that our Rock Guard had earlier. All right, so let's go ahead and go for Evo Soda. Do we get a Lamp Pent? There it is. Put that down, and we can evolve it next turn. Uh, let's go ahead and feed the Chandelier as well. Save that Pokemon Fan Club. We're going to do a Curse Drop, put all six on the Oshawa to go for another knockout. And they're down to 20 due to poisoning. We've got two prizes left, so we just have to go for a knockout on one of the EXs. Probably go after the Shaman EX, which has uh, one retreat cost. So if we get a Lysander, I will drag it out. So it's, once again, I always say this, it's the great thing about the ghost types, they can attack the bench, so in this case if they're stalling, we can just go ahead and knock out something, and we've already done that twice with the Ash Oshawa. A lot of players count on you to knock out their active while they build up what's up there, in our case we're actually just going after the bench. We could have gone after the Curum and put all six on there, but uh, went ahead and went for the easy knockout for the Oshawa, just in case they started to build that up into an evolution with rare candy or whatever. There it is. At the end of our turn, they will be knocked out either way. Let's go ahead and evolve into Chandelier. Let's put down another little Litwick. And we're down to 20 cards. I don't think we've used the Lysander yet. Nope. All right, so I'm going to save that Versus Seeker. I'm going to feed... Um, let's get this Gengar EX good to go. And let's do the Curse Drop. And we're going to put all six on to Curum, actually, since that is who they're going to bring out. And they are knocked out with the Kangaskhan due to poisoning, 10 damage in between turns. So we're down to one prize. Uh, they're down to 70 on the Kirim, which we will be able to knock out with the Gengar with the Muscle Band next turn. If anything, that is who they bring out. 
and what kind of attacks do they have. They've got the Frost Spear, does 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon, and then 30 onto your active. Blizzard Burn does 120, this Pokemon can't attack there in your next turn, so that would be enough to knock out Chandelier. They just need one more energy on him. And there is that energy right there, it's good to go. They're good on the knockout. With our Feigning Spell, if that activates, we'll win as well. But if not, the Gengar EX should be able to clean up the match. They end up going after the Frost Spear, so 30 damage onto the Chandelier. They're going to do 30 onto Little Litwick. Alright, that's our turn. Uh, looks like that will be game. Uh, actually, no, not yet. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, let's feed that guy right there. We'll do a free retreat cost into the Gengar EX. Dark Corridor attack for 80 damage. We'll put out the other Gengar, and the, or the other Chandelier. And that's the victory right there. So even if we didn't have the Muscle Band... In between turns with that poisoning, it would have taken care of it, so either way, a number of options we had there. So 10 coins from the wheel and one for playing. Booster packs. Let's head on over there. Nope, not yet. <laughs> Pokemon TCG says, you've earned this, uh, you're up to 30 energy, and we get the Barboach. And it looks like a Wish Cash. Heading on to our collection right there, booster packs, a couple things that I do want to show you all. Alright, so here's the Pokemon League 2015 Moss Deep Gym Season Bundle Pack. Uh, this one you can get at your local Pokemon League if you play a number of games to give you a code card. And in this case, these are the items that are on there. So we have a bunch of Psychic Pokemon League uh, energies, which are awesome because if I want to build another Psychic deck, I can definitely do that. It also comes with the Zubat with also the Pokemon League logo on it. And we've got the Dimension Valley with the League logo as well, which you saw in action today. A Giraffe Rig, same exact thing, and they're all reverse hollows, it looks like. A Bronze on. Once during your turn, you may attach a Metal Energy from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. So very awesome uh, card right there. You see it very common with the Steel decks. So uh, again, head on over to your po local Pokemon League and just play some games, and you'll eventually earn one of those packs. Alright, so I know everyone's waiting for Ancient Origins, so we are going to open up the other ones first. <laughs> Alright, so this one, I believe it was... Okay, so it's Flash Fire. And what do we get here? Ooh, another Lysander. There we go, a uh, Pidgey. And a Luxray. Alright, so Rowing Skies. We'll do one of those and two Ancient Origins. And as we play more games, these uh, pack content loading times will go a, little, a lot quicker. So here we go. And nothing new yet. And we get two rares here. We get a Reverse Hollow Beauty Fly. And a Zekrom. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish up there and let's open up two Ancient Origins boosters. Again, I'm looking for Tyranitar EX, Mega Tyranitar EX, uh, Special Dark Energies. I think they're called... Um, trying to remember, like, Broken Energy, or we'll, we'll find out if we pull it. I'm also looking for Lucky Helmet and a um, Ace Trainer, because I will put those directly into the Gengar deck. That's not even for the Mega Tyranitar one. So all of these should be new. Yeah, look at that. All of these are brand new. So we get the Combi, which is, you're going to see a lot of those uh, Brokats as we go into the standard format, and you'll see why eventually. There's the Ball Toy, a Relicanth, the Inkay, Regular Blossom, so nothing too useful yet. Uh, if we were building a Combi deck, that'd be really awesome. Sceptile Spirit Link, and we get a Gudra. All right, let's open up one, uh, no, one more. All right, so I'm looking, 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 looking. Let's see. Another Lysander, awesome. Always useful. Very, very useful. So here we have an Unknown, which has the Farewell Letter ability. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may discard this Pokemon and all cards attached to it. If you do, draw a card. That's a really good ability. And your opponent will not get a prize card, by the way. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, first one being a Metagross. This Pokemon can have up to two Pokemon tools attached to it. This attack does 10 more damage for each uh, card in your hand. 
And then the Guard Press does 80 damage. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by the attacks is reduced by 20. Alright, so we end up getting the uh, evolution. So Metagross. And this one is a little bit different. So this one only has the one attack, but it does have an ability, which is Magnetic Warp. Once during your turn, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. If you do, your opponent switches his or her active with his or, one of his or bench. So that's almost like a switch or Lysander escape rope, maybe. Here's the Iron Cannon, does 80 plus. You may discard all steel energies attached to this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 80 more damage. So there you go, not exactly what we were looking for, but we've got plenty more packs to open, which we will next time right here on The Reasons I'm Broke Let's Play Pokemon TCG Online. I do want to remind you to subscribe by clicking on the Reasons I'm Broke logo at the top right-hand corner of the screen. And a huge thank to, thanks to all of our supporters through iTunes, whether they left a review for the regular podcast, and of course to all of our Patreon supporters. You can find the link for that in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and for watching. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you on the next one.